Peer-to-peer -peer lending is important to the real estate industry because it fills a niche, it fills a gap that was pretty gaping initially. Uh, the chasm between what banks could provide for investors uh, in 2000, let's call it pre-crash, so 2007, what banks could do for us as investors was already pretty limited. Now, those of you who are investing in real estate in 2007 or before 2007, if you are like me, you remember the glory days of like 2003 through 2007, where you literally could walk into any bank, you could get 100% financing. If you got it for a good price, you could get 125% financing. I can't even think of a handful of deals that I closed on between 2000 and 2007 that I actually didn't leave closing with cash. We don't see that anymore. Now, what was driving that? Well, if you look at what was going on Wall Street, the fact that they were taking and pooling together all of these different mortgages, they were securitizing those mortgages and essentially selling the loan against a $100,000 house, they were selling it 30 times. So that one $100,000 mortgage was worth $3 million in the sale of stocks, bonds, and, and securities on Wall Street. So because of this, Wall Street was coming back to companies like Wells Fargo and Washington Mutual and Countrywide. You guys that were investing in 07 or 04, 05, 06, 07, you remember these names. Those of you that are new to the marketplace, either in 2013, 2014, you're going, who? Well, what you need to know is that these were some of the largest mortgage lenders on the planet. Countrywide by itself was doing $12 billion a month in mortgages, $12 billion a month in mortgages. Now, why were they writing such crazy paper? Why did we experience this bubble? Why was there this massive crash on Wall Street? Why were all real estate values nationwide depleted to the tune of 30, 40, 50, 60% in some markets? Phoenix saw 70% reductions in value. Why? Well, the answer is simple. When Wall Street has an appetite for something, it can pump so much capital, so much cash into the marketplace that it literally can create spikes and bubbles all over the place. Peer-to-peer -peer lending feels a void that was created when Wall Street went under. You guys remember when Lehman Brothers crashed uh, and with it, everything else began to implode. When that happened, you had Frank Dodd come in and write new policy for who banks could lend to in 2010 which is if you've been investing from 2010 to present, you have not gotten a bank loan. And guys, I travel the country, I speak to tens of thousands of people each and every year, and I query every audience. And the question that I ask is, how many of you in this room in the last four years, post-crash, have gotten a loan, or even post-Frank Dodd, have gotten a bank loan on investment property that you didn't have to designate or classify as a second home? And guys, in the last three years, I have gotten zero hands, which means if you are an investor and you have the desire to build a portfolio of rental property where you're acquiring for cash flow, the only way you're getting access to money is through private sources. Now the problem with private sources is, see peer-to-peer -peer lending isn't this new thing, we've been doing it for years. I've always had a handful of investors that I could call with a, in a single blink of an eye and say, hey, I just bought another property, I need you to wire a million dollars to this title company, and I would close and buy the property. But when you guys are doing volume of any capacity, you will eventually uh, out-borrow your lender's ability to deploy capital to you. So what peer-to-peer -peer lending has done and what Kogo Capital is doing is we are in, es in essence institutionalizing private money for real estate investors because through volume guys, we can go out and attract cheaper and cheaper and cheaper money. And as we bring Wall Street larger capacities of volume, we can negotiate down lower costs of funds, which means we can lend you guys more money. So what that means for each and every one of you, whether you be a affiliate of private money exchange, whether you be a certified private money broker through Kogo Capital, through our private money broker certification training programs, which we have coming up throughout the year, or whether you just be somebody who wants to build an expanding portfolio of real estate, we need every single one of you guys because we have substantial volumes of capital flooding into our hands every single day 
And guys, we have come to a place where we are raising more money than we can possibly deploy. So if you have never before had an urgency to go out there and be buying real estate or to be out there going out there and bringing us borrowers who need capital, now is the time. This is not the time to sit around and rest on your laurels. Now is the time to get out there and pound the pavement, guys, because right now more millionaires will be created, in my opinion, in the next 36 months if you go out there and hit it hard, and we want to be the one that supports you to make that happen. So go make it happen. Have a great day.